Hello friends, welcome to Java Tricky Program series. So let's see what we have for today. So here I have this main method where I am creating a set of integers and then I am having this for loop that will run 100 times and I am calling set.add method and I am calling this random integer method. In this random integer method, I am creating this random object by passing seed value some random long value dot next end so it will return me an integer and then i am printing the size of set so what should be the output as in what should be the size of set here so on a simple looking it seems like since we are using random so every time it will return some random values from int and then it will get added to set and it will print 100. Let's not assume that this random will return same int multiple times. In that case, since it's a set, it can print less than 100. But just for the sake of argument, since the integer range is very high, so it's very highly unlikely that it will return same value twice. So let's just run this program and see the output. If I run this program, the, actually it's printing 1. So it means that set size is 1. Even if I run multiple times, it's always printing 1. So why it is behaving like that? So if you look closely, this random integer method, it must be returning same integer every time. That's why the set is having only one value. So let's look at this method implementation. So what is happening here is every time this method is called, this new random is getting created and since we are passing this seed value it will always return the same integer when we call this next int and that is why it's always returning the same value and hence we have only one value in the set we can easily check it out by keeping it in the main method so let's say I say random r is equal to new random and now sys out r dot next int let me just print two three times now if I run this program so it's actually printing these three values So let me just keep it in comments because I don't want to remember these long values. Now if I run this again, you see that the values that are getting returned is same all the time. So now we know that we should not either pass this seed value or we should create this random not in this method but actually at some central space so let's just see that if what happens if we remove this seed so then we are getting the size as 100 why because every time java is using some random seed value and that's why it's working fine Another approach is to create this random somewhere before using it and then change this method by passing it. And here I would say return r dot next int. Okay. Yeah. So now if I run this, so it's printing 100 so what it what is happening is that 
random is getting initialized once and every time it is getting reused and next int is getting called 100 times. So it's always returning different different integers and our program is giving the output as expected. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.